Lorena over here and in this video I would like to speak to you about eyeliner removal using a Q-switch and the jack and when I say eyeliner removal I mean tattooed eyeliner or permanent makeup or semi-permanent makeup as it's known in Europe um, and what happens when it runs and migrates underneath the skin we need to remove it and we need to remove it either using non-laser methods which I find to be quite difficult um, and very slow or laser methods which generally take one or two laser sessions and it's blasted away but I, I there's another video on my channel that you can look at um, where I explain more in detail but I want to speak to you about the complications so things that can happen even to somebody as experienced as myself the eyeliner removal is actually it's quite a safe procedure the problem is that it is brutal and by brutal, I mean you're going to look like you've done a few rounds with Mr. Mike Tyson for about two weeks. So if you need, if you need your eyeliner removed, make sure that your social life allows for this because that's the main thing that people come to me with saying, oh, actually, I have a party, I have a wedding, I have Christmas, I have Ramadan. Uh, and really, you're not going to any of those things post-procedure. You're going to be home taking a nice little rest. The bruising can be quite severe inside and outside of the eye. So if you have a client that fights you, as I had one just lately where I went to put in the protector shield into the eye and she fought me. She'd done the first eye, no problem at all. I went to do the second eye and she's like, no, I don't want this. Um, she bruised her cornea or I bruised her cornea or... It's, it's not long-term damage, but was it worth her going to an eye hospital and getting it checked out? Absolutely. We always are on the safe side. Um, so, yes, she, she's bruised. She couldn't open her eye for two days. Um, and then little by little, the, the bruising went. Um, her doctor gave her antibiotic drops, which were uh, very, very helpful. But... And I, again, it's not something that's going to really do any type of long-term damage. But having a shut eye that you can't really see out of for two, three days, not a nice experience for anyone. Um, how much control does the, the technician have over this? If a, if a patient fights you when, when you're doing your job and grabs your hand, it's, it's just there's nothing you can do. Um, but again, we are... We have such a margin of error with these treatments that other than bruising, discomfort, there's not a lot that actually can happen long term. Uh, the other thing that is we, we always refuse to remove eyeliner from the wet line area for the same reason because there are so many glands in that area. And as you can imagine, the tear removal is absolutely brutal. Um, from the body. Can you imagine what it's like taking this off from, from your eye area? So we do tend to not work on the wet line area. It's, we just find that any chance to compromise the glands that um, it, it's made your tear ducts, your tear glands, it's just not worth it long term. So we can go all the way up to the, to the wet area of the, of the eye, but we don't go beyond. If you're a permanent makeup artist and you have been taught to tattoo in the wet area, and the wet area is this bit inside, please, I beg you, don't do it. Please don't do it. Um, I, there's too many things that are going on, too many nerves, too many glands that are present in that area that really you could be causing some very, very, very serious long-term damage. Um, other complications, of course, you're going to have the bruising. You may or may not be able to open your eyes. You're going to have lots of swelling. Are these complications? No. These are purely the result of the treatment, and there's no way to get a, a, around them. So, again, if you're going to have your tattoo removal from the eye area, get two weeks off. Or you can probably go back to work after three, four days, but you're going to be bruised um, and if, if you are working in a closed office and you don't care, then that's great. You're working with the public, possibly 
not so much. So take care of yourself and make sure that, of course, you go to a technician and a doctor. A lot of times doctors are not pro properly trained either. Don't believe somebody can do these procedures just because they went to medical school. Just because a doctor can remove your appendix doesn't mean he can remove tattoos from your eye area. Make sure that they are properly trained. Ask for insurance, both from from anyone. Ask for insurance from your techs, ask for insurance from uh, tattoo removal professionals, ask for insurance for, from your doctors. This is a very specialized procedure and the insurance should mention that they have the, the, they have it you have they have coverage for this specific procedure tattoo removal from the eye liner area and it's got to be in stone if not you're not covered they mess up you're blind you have no recourse you have no way to sue them I hope that doesn't scare you it's actually a really safe procedure but just cover your bases make sure that you you choose the right practitioner uh, if you're abroad always send us a message because I do train internationally. So hopefully I would be able to send you to somebody that I've trained near you. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments section. And of course, uh, please subscribe to their channel if you enjoyed our, my videos, this video and other videos. Thank you. Bye.